Here's a cover off of two high-pressure pumps. The early models had the injector control pressure sensor located on the cover. The newer ones don't. The point we're making is any time you order parts, you need to order by VIN number. There's frequent changes, and we'll be showing you this as we go through. You'll be seeing what we're talking about. But whenever you order anything for the plumbing or anything else for this system, make sure you order by the VIN number. Uh, here's our pump. It's a swash pipe design pump. We're going to talk about these snap-to-connect connectors. They divide the oil pressure between the two cylinder heads. There's two versions of them, early and late, revised, old, whatever you want to call them. They are the subject to frequent leaks in these systems, and the plumbing is the same way. Now, this is driven off the camshaft. This gear is smaller than the camshaft gear, which means it's going to be running at the same speed as the crankshaft. So it's running twice as fast as the cam. The front of the engine up here is where the fuel filter is located. The reservoir is underneath the fuel filter. If we take it loose and remove it, we will find the oil cooler. Now, the oil cooler is important because we're putting it under a high pressure, adding a lot of extra work it has to do. It doesn't do in a normal non-diesel vehicle. So we have to go in and clean all this mess up, get all this stuff out, recycle and get all the debris out. Here's what you're looking at here. This is a vehicle that failed a test. It failed a heat test. Why did it fail? Well, it's obvious here if you look at this dirty oil, it goes through these small passages. They have plugged up the passages so we don't get good oil circulation. Now, the other thing that can happen is the thicker passages with coolant can be and have a problem and get clogged up if you have an EGR cooler fail that pollutes the coolant. So we can have coolant problems that you can't see, block passages for the oil passages you can see. International suggests changing the oil cooler if the EGR cooler fails, and we have high failures in EGR coolers. Let's talk about this test we're talking about. What we do is we do an extended test drive for 30 to 45 minutes. We're going to use our scan data to watch engine oil temperature and engine coolant temperature. Now, we have got to make sure the engine coolant temperature is working normal and we have a normal coolant system. What we're watching for is to see if the engine coolant stays normal while engine oil temperature increases by more than 25 degrees F. If the oil is too hot, we're not getting good cooling out of our engine oil cooler. So when you clean this up, there's another filter down here. You can see it there. Uh, there's some pretty nasty looking stuff you'll see in some of this oil. The reason you see it clogged up. When you're done, you should be seeing it like this. This is the passage going into the high pressure pump and we have a, a final filter going in here. More samples of what people do to oil. This didn't come out of this engine, but it's a scary thing to look at. When we have the oil cooler in place, it pushes down on this, which holds the oil filter in place. Like everything we're saying, there's two ones. You can have the old version, which is silver, the goldish looking one. That's the updated version. You don't have to replace the old one unless you have a problem with it. If you do, put this new finer one in. It's got a finer detail. There's the new part number, the 3C, 3Z part number. That's what you order for replacement. So here is our oil filter as where it looks and where we install it. That's what it looks like as you take it out and so forth. And here is your final fuel pump, the way it runs. We said that the fuel pump on the top is running a much smaller gear, which increases the RPM to where it equals the RPM of the crankshaft on the bottom. Here's some of the things that can go wrong with a pump. This is a pump we found at a shop that had a problem. Notice the damage to it. This damage, we think, was caused because of needle battles that came out of the crankshaft bearings. Uh, if this type of pump has a problem, we need to find a way to find it. We're going to talk more about that using scan data and various tests to find this. And the effects of pump, oil, and fuel pressure not being adequate.